made these small cake boxes and I have six of them so I'm going to show you a few cakes that I'm making for these boxes. I'm not going to show all six but I'm going to show you how I do. First I took some clay and the color of the clay doesn't matter and I cut out three pieces and they're all been uh, through my pasta machine on the setting one. I'm using a tiny bit of Fimo liquid to bond these three together, placing them on top of each other and then I am just going to try to really squeeze them together and roll them until I like the shape. I'm going to do this with a few more and when I'm ready I bake them all. I designed this heart thing for my clay extruder in Fusion 360 and I printed it on my resin printer and um, I'm going to use that for making our heart shaped cane from the clay extruder. Um, if you want the print file for this one I'm going to leave it in the info box below so find it there. I'm going to extrude a lot of this and then I'm baking it for around 10 minutes, no longer. And I did straighten it out a bit before I baked it. And I'm using a sharp knife to slice it after baking. If it's too hard to slice, then just put it into the hot oven for a minute and slice it right after it comes out. I'm using my Tamaya Dessert Topping Master and this is the milk that looks like a white white cream. So I'm going to use that all over this little cake and that is also the reason why the color of the cake itself doesn't matter. Then I'm just going to decorate with all the bits and pieces that I have and have made over the years. And you can just do it like you want to, but I'm just showing you one way right here. I lost a bit of footage for this cake, but I decorated it like this. Here is another one where I'm using the dessert topping master and that's chocolate. And again, I'm just going to cover the whole cake with this. And here I still have the footage of how I decorated it, so I'm going to leave you to see that. And I'm going to leave a link for all my canes in the info box below and at the end of this video. Here is another cake again with the dessert topping master chocolate and I cover the whole cake with this. Then again I'm just using bits and pieces that I have lying around from years of making canes and decorating this little cake as I like it. And you can do it just like you want to. It's only your imagination that is making your limits. Thank you. 
And this is the last cake I'm going to show you again with my dessert topping master from Tamaya. And this is the strawberry ones I use and I'm again going to cover the whole cake with this. Here I'm using a tiny bit of my flat canes that I made years ago. You can find that again in my cane section or the playlist for canes. And I'm also using a tiny bit of my strawberry cane, but you can decorate the cakes just like you want to. I'm going to leave these cakes to dry before I continue with this so that I won't ruin it. When they're all hardened, I'm going to use my glaze and I'm going to glaze the whole cake and I'm going to do this on all my cakes. Then I'm going to glue the cakes into this little box that I made. I will leave a link in the info box below for the print file for these small boxes. I glue down the last tab on these boxes so it's all shut and now they're ready for use. You can use them in your bakery or maybe at the kitchen table. Thank you for watching. I hope you will leave this a like as it means a lot to me. I wish you a good day and happy crafting.